you know, a, a negatively tilted trough and, you know, versus uh, a, a positively tilted or a progressive system. And, and, and I know we throw those terms around and I, I think I want to just kind of uh, do this analogy. Um, I'm going to see, see if I can do this. Hang on a second, because it's nice having a headset. So I got a broom. OK, I got a broom. So how do we hold a broom mostly yeah. when when we're sweeping? We hold it, you know, I, unless you're right handed or let, depending on whether you're right handed or left handed, you're going to sweep left to right or right to left. But for, for the sake of argument, let's say we all sweep going from left to right. So I'm going to put, you know, I put my broom down. So you're, you, you hold it at an angle like this. This is northeast. This is southwest. This is a positively tilted trough. So what happens? Let's say if I hold the broom close to the ground and sweep, I'm only going to get the dirt that's around the broom. It's not the most efficient way of doing things. So if we think of the dirt on your seldom swept floor as uh, <laughs> if we think of the dirt on your seldom swept floor as moisture, you're only going to be able to pick up so much moisture. And where is it going to go? Well, it's going to go pretty much the way you're going to move the broom, which is from, from left to right or from west to east. It's not going to pick up very much. It's not going to spread very far away from the, 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 uh, the bristles. It's just going to kind of stay concentrated. Now, as I start make that tilt less positively tilted and I start to sweep up, I could sweep more efficiently. I could get more moisture. Uh, and in the sense that I'm picking up more dirt off your seldom swept uh, uh, swept floor, and that dirt is spreading out over a larger area. So that's why we refer to as a positively tilted. So what happens if we get to a negatively tilt? If you sweep like this, well, you're not going to sweep very well this way, but if you take your broom from a positively tilted position, and then swing it to a negatively tilted position, what happens to all that, that dirt? It, it sweeps, it spreads out. You're, expe right. you're expending all this energy. You're expending much more energy uh, and spreading out that dirt. You also could sweep faster, so you could actually sweep up more dirt. So that's why when you see an upper trough when it's tilted like this or in that negatively tilted position, you get the, surf, the, uh, the surface lows wind up intensifying. You see the area of moisture really expand and, and grow. So I, I, that's, that, that's why the, how the troughs are structured in the upper atmosphere are, are so important. I, I thought that would kind of explain, because we, you know, we, we, we throw the terms around and you know, the more weather savvy folks get it, uh, but this I think will probably help those who would like to, you know, gain a, a better understanding of how the atmosphere works. That's kind of a good way to look at it.